We're here with Alan Gilbert, VP at Access Health. Alan, tell us what kind of conversations you're overhearing and are involved with revolving around accountable care. Yeah, it's really fascinating times uh, today around accountable care innovations. That care collaboration is really the way that that uh, that people are moving. They have to find ways to bend the cost curve and, and make and make people healthier. So the last last year and the last 10 or 15 years have been about the health information exchanges and the linking of data together. And now once we have we still are moving a ways on that and, and still have a ways to go on that. But now it's all about now you have this connected data together. How do you find a way to manage your congestive heart patients better, your COPD patients better, your cancer care, your diabetes patients better. How across that accountable care organization do you manage those specific types of patients? Because those are the ones that are the high flyers, those are the ones that cost you some of the highest dollars. How do you manage those collaboratively? Tell, us, tell me how Access Health Solutions kind of play into that. We have a collaborative care platform that we've built over the last 10 years, didn't just wake up today and, and say all of a sudden we're in this collaborative care business. So our tools are able to manage a collaborative care multidisciplinary team um, across a community, a state, or even an entire country. So ACOs are all about how do you manage a community, so how does that PCP manage patient A or patient B, no matter where they go in that community, and it's not managed care from 15 years ago where you mandate the patient has to see the PCP and then has to see specialist A, specialist B, specialist C. You have to work within wherever that patient goes within their own workflow. But you have to have a way of, a way of the understanding the metrics, both the financial metrics as well as the clinical metrics of what the impact of what the care that is delivered from the PCP to the specialist, to the hospitals, to the labs, to anything that that patient interacts with. And the HIE, again, would give you the specific data elements in those, but it wouldn't give you an ability to share data and understand that, 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 that approach. So the diabetic care team has to have things like a primary care physician, it has to have a nutritionist, it has to have an endocrinologist, it has to have a, a, a dietitian, it also has to have the patient involvement, that's a major component, and that's, we're really lacking as an, as, an, as an industry. All of us are good at getting on Facebook and on other social medias, but we have a harder time with our financial information, we all do online banking. So we really have to get the patient involved in, in their own care and in this process. So if you're a diabetic patient, you need to get to have, this, have the same access and understand how good or bad you're doing um, with your HbA1c levels as your provider does. So you ha need to have the same dashboard that you're looking at every day as you as you prick your finger in the morning before and after you eat, at lunch before and after you eat, dinner before and after you eat. And the instant you have that data, you either manually enter it or that is able to be Bluetooth and automatically up uploaded into our system so the provider, the provider sees access to it, the entire care team sees, sees access to it, as well as the patient gets access to that data. So together, they're working on, on the care together.